Hi everyone, Tanya Thiessen here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you how I achieved this beautiful bread in my air fryer. Of course, in this video, I will show you how I did that, including the ingredients and all of the proportions. So first of all, here are all the ingredients, of course, with the proportions. My first step is to take that hot water and put all of the yeast in it, as well as half of the sugar. The sugar will make sure that this yeast is actually going to grow over time. And I am going to mix it a little bit just to make sure that I don't have any big chunks of the um, yeast. mixture like that it will only take about maybe five minutes to grow and you will see it on the video as well and then i'm going to make sure to put the reminder of the salt and sugar in the flour while the yeast is growing on the side here i'm going to make a little pit to put on the um, canola oil that i have there And then as you can see, it's growing really fast. Of course, I um, fast forwarded it, but it actually took about five minutes and I do that with every single recipe that I need to have a raising dough or rising dough, I should say. Once that is done, I'm gonna put the milk and the flour as well. And the yeast, as you can see, is very big. I use a um, wooden spoon just because it's easier and then I put it on my counter with some flour just to make sure that it doesn't stick too much to my fingers and then I put also flour on my hands before I knead it and then you don't need to knead it too too much because right now we just want it to uh, for, the, for the dough to rise and then I'm going to add flour because I don't want to have a sticky sticky dough and then I'm going to form it into a bowl or ball then i'm gonna oil the bowl that i'm gonna keep it in and then to make sure that it rises in 30 minutes and not an hour and a half i'm gonna put my dough in the oven as well with boiling water and a bowl and that will make it rise double the size in 30 minutes or so once that is done you're gonna want to extend your dough and make sure to fold it um both from the left side to the right and then right side to the left and then i like to tuck in the sides just because comparing to my container right now um, it wouldn't be the right size and then what I'll do is basically the same thing with the container. So I'm gonna put my dough um, inside my container, making sure that everything, every single seal is actually sealed and then putting it in there, making sure that I put my um, plastic foil over it. And then again, I'm gonna repeat that step to make it rise in 30 minutes or less with that boiling water in the bowl. If you got here already in the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video. This is completely free and it completely helped me to continue to make videos for you guys. Also, if you want another recipe video, let me know what you want um, me to do in the comment section. And then right back in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then next step, you will see um, how big my dough actually got. And here, as you can see, it almost bursted out. And because it's going in the air fryer and that the um, reheating plates, I guess, or, or cords in there are going to be touching, I want to really tuck in the sides. I want to make sure that it doesn't overflow and have a nice and symmetrical or at least as most symmetrical possible bread. You can see how 
fluffy it is already the top is going to be a little bit crusty at the beginning just because um i didn't let it rest enough because i was so happy and so um i couldn't wait to show you guys so as you can see here the bread is very fluffy it's almost like the bread bought in store but even more healthier for you guys and it only takes you about two hours to make all right i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe like and i'll see you in the next one